Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my July favourites. Um, and I'm going to try my best to make this as short and sweet as possible because I realised that my favourite videos and my other videos can be quite rambly and boring. So let's just jump right into it. The first thing I want to talk about is my Clarisonic Mia 2 and um, I know that I'm due for a review on this product and it will be up on Friday hopefully so look out for that. The Clarisonic has helped in like it has helped my skin maintain its you know its I don't know what to say but Basically, it just has helped maintain my skin really, really very well. For me, because I have normal to dry skin, I try not to use it every single day. So, I limit myself to like two or three times a week. And it just cleanses my face and gets all of the gunk out. So, I'll share with you guys my experience when I first started this. Because I... Using this because I did get it like back in May and I didn't want to just jump the gun and see whether it was good or not um, without giving it a couple of months uh, for my skin to get used to it and for me to really like take in the how good or how bad or whatever it is for my skin and for myself. So keep a look out for that video where I will get into more detail about the Clarisonic Mia 2 and my experience with the next skincare item is something that I've been wanting to try for so long and it has been raved about by like by so many beauty gurus and it is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. When I okay, when I first started using this, right? Um the next because you use it at night, when I put it on at night and I woke up the next morning, I was like, oh my god, my face looks so radiant and healthy. This is really like a miracle worker it is really worth the hype it is really worth the money um, go ahead and go to any kill store and try and smell it because it, it's the they have a lavender scent inside simply because it's supposed to be used at night so the lavender smell helps to um, generally lavender helps to aid in like falling asleep and getting good sleep so that's why it is lavender scented and it comes with a dropper type thing that's like that Ooh. and you only need like three or four drops of this and you just um, like press it onto your skin and oh my the next day I was just like oh my god my face is so radiant what <laughs> Now on to makeup. Um, the first two are concealers. It is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and my MAC Studio Finish Concealer. I've been loving using these two together simply because this helps to counteract the blue tones under my eyes because I haven't been sleeping a lot and this helps to highlight and further like um, add a little bit more coverage. And I just found out another thing about this. I already knew I liked this when I first started using it. But then a few days ago, I decided to use my Bare Minerals um, foundation, which is a powder foundation. And initially, I didn't want to use a concealer because usually if I do use a concealer, I will put a concealer underneath first before I buff in the Bare Minerals foundation. But on that day, I felt like, you know what, I'm just going to use the Bare Minerals foundation because I don't want to use concealer. And then I realised that I needed some coverage under my eyes, so I just went like, okay, I'm just going to YOLO and put this under my eyes, and oh my god, it does not cake. Even though I put this on top of a powder, it does not cake, the coverage is still the same, it, is, it looks as though I put this underneath the powder foundation, so I hope that this, you know, it... Some yeah, I hope that this mini review kind of lets you guys know whether you would like it or not. But it is extremely creamy. Okay, so as you may know, for the past one month, I have been fasting because of Ramadan, and I don't like to put gloopy stuff on my lips like lip gloss and whatnot. So I've been using my Tarte Matte Lip Surgeons in NV. I don't know one, I don't know why, but this lip product, right? When I put this product on my lips, it just feels as though there's nothing on my lips and that it just feels very comfortable like as though I'm not wearing anything on my lips but actually I am. Um, and yeah, I just it's just a it's a mauve colour and I've just been using this for the whole month of Ramadan actually um, on my lips when I go out and I really like it. It has a minty smell which is something that I like. 
Another lip product is... I got this about a month and a half or two months ago and it is by far the most expensive lipstick I ev I've ever owned in my life and I just thought to myself, I'm gonna get it because I like it and yeah, it's just... I'm just gonna let it speak for itself. <laughs> yes, everyone, I got my first YSL lipstick. This is the YSL Rouge Balat Shine in the color 5. It's in number 5. And it is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. Um, it is this really hot pink kind of color. I'm gonna try and swatch it now. It just looks like that. It's a really nice, pretty color. Initially, I was really skeptical about it because, like, somehow pinks kind of look like this kind of bright pink kind of look weird on me. And especially like in the YSL store, right? The lighting was so weird. Like, I can't really see whether it looked nice on me or not. But um, I got the color number 5 and oh my god, it is so, number 1, it's really moisturizing. Number 2, when it fades off, it fades off so beautifully. It stains your lips so nicely. It's just really, really, really very pretty. And of course, how can I forget about the packaging? The packaging is so luxurious and nice and you know when you just take this out of your handbag, you're just, it's like... The last makeup product is actually my Sleek Contour Kit in Light. If you have been watching my um, recent tutorials, I've been using this a whole lot to contour my cheekbones and like my temples and stuff. And it is so inexpensive. I think it's like $20 or less and I got it off Luxola.com and I will link the website down below. It is so inexpensive and it does the job. So if you are looking for like a contouring colour for your cheeks or something, you can go and check this out because it is so affordable. It It's nice. I mean, I don't know. You watch my videos, do you, you think it's nice? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I think, I personally think that it's nice and I know you can get like Hula or Laguna but um, if you are on a budget, you can just try this and it comes with a highlight colour as well that's really pretty. It's a it's a nice champagne-y kind of colour. It's just a really nice shimmery highlight and the contour colour itself is also really pigmented so can you see that? And it doesn't look orange or anything, at least in my opinion. It's matte, there's no shimmer. It doesn't look orange, It it just... It's just a really nice matte colour. Now on to other like stuff. I don't know whether this is considered others or makeup or what, but, but it's the Lofa lens. Um, I don't know if you know who Ni Lofa is, but she's this really, really pretty Malaysian actress. And she recently came up with her own line of contact lenses. I really like the lenses because it doesn't look super artificial. It looks really nice um, and for me personally, I found it really comfortable when I first put it on. Um, however, I don't agree that, you know, there are some people who say that, you know, it you can wear it for the, rest, for the whole day and it doesn't get dry. Um, maybe it's just them but for me personally, after wearing contact lenses for over 10 years, no, not over 10 years, almost more than, almost 10 years, I naturally, my eyes get naturally dry towards the end of the day or when I've been wearing my contact lenses for a long period of time. So it's the same with this. Um, if I wear it like at 10 a.m. in the morning and I come home at like 10 p.m. at night, I will start blinking really, really badly and I will start getting blurry. My eyes like will get blurry because I'm just very uncomfortable. It just gets really dry. Um, so yeah, to me this is... Whoa. To me, this is the, the lenses that she has, the colours are all really pretty. I'm not so sure about the blue one though, I find it too blue. 
for me but other than that I really like the rest of the colours um, it retails for I think $27 I will link if you live in Singapore I will leave I will leave I will leave their Instagram their stockists in Singapore for these lenses I will leave um, their Instagram and their website in the description box down below and I think that they are gonna have a national day special so keep a look out for that follow them on Instagram and um, so that you can get like updates and stuff because it does sell out really quick and lastly it is this thing that I have this is my new tumbler um, I don't have any tumblers that have like a straw so I got this from Moyono and this is actually the Kate Spade um, with Moyono um, line of tumblers they have other designs as well um, but this is just mine it's just pink and orange striped because it's really bright and nice it just has a small Kate Spade logo and the straw and I don't know I've just been drinking water in this because it has since I got this I've been drinking more water and if you have been watching me for a really long time you realize that I don't really like to drink water and drinking water has helped a lot it has lessened the chappedness of my lips and it has helped my skin um, a lot as well so yeah wait so with that, we've come to the end of my July favourites. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet or if you want to see more videos from me. And also, I understand that I've been posting two videos a week um, since like the starting of Ramadan-ish. Um, and I will try my best to keep on posting two videos but um, if I don't post two videos a week, um, just don't worry because it might be just I'm like very busy um, but just be sure just know that every Friday I will still post my video uh, and ev like if I do post an extra video it's just an extra video and I hope that's alright with you guys so yeah leave a comment down below if you have any video requests that you'd like to see and um, what else and yeah, I hope that it has been really good to you guys and you have been like meeting all your family and taking lots of pictures. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!